dating can be difficult. And speaking from personal experience, you do not want to get sucked in, wrapped into dating a narcissist. So if you are somebody who is currently in the dating scene, maybe you're dating somebody and you're starting to question, is this person a narcissist? Or you just want to know what to look out for when you are dating. This video is for you. I am going through all of the characteristics, some telltale signs of narcissism so that you can better prepare yourself, defend yourself, should that that be the case and just be aware of what being in a relationship with a narcissist is actually like. So if you're excited to get into this, give me a like on this video. If you don't know me, my name is Kelly Kristen. I'm a life and relationship coach as well as a clinical hypnotherapist that helps women heal from toxic relationships so they can love themselves and create healthy and happy love in their life. That is what this channel is all about. So please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I create new content every single week. So there are definitely multiple varieties of narcissism with different severities. We're not getting into that today. Today we're talking about general characteristics of narcissists, things that you need to look out for as you are dating. I also want to note that a lot of people have narcissistic traits, characteristics, or qualities. It doesn't make them a narcissist. A narcissist, more often than not, is going to have, if not all of the things that I'm going to talk about, pretty close to all of these characteristics present. So number one would definitely be an overwhelming amount of entitlement. They really feel like the world owes them something, that the world revolves around them. They are incredibly egocentric, meaning everything should be about them. Everything that happens in life is about them. And how this bleeds over into your relationship is definitely a multitude of ways because they're much more important than you, your wants and your needs. But it's also somebody who, if everything always has to be on their timetable, right? Like you can only see each other when it works for them and their schedule and that's it. And that could be something that happens at the beginning of a relationship. Now, of course, all of these characteristics that I'm gonna speak about really tend to get worse over time. But even at the beginning of a relationship, when you're feeling like everything is good and great, you'll start to see these little signs of these things. Two. Narcissists have no empathy. They actually lack emotional intelligence and really the ability to regulate emotions properly. And they actually don't detect emotions well in other people because they're so detached from their own emotions. So how you can pick up on this is how they treat other people and how they talk about other people, how they perceive other people. Do they have the ability to feel badly for somebody? That's something that can be picked upon really early. I mean, notice if you are out on a date with somebody, how are they treating um, the people that are waiting on you and things like that. Three, they are really concerned with physical appearance. Um, material possessions. A lot of it is just how they look, how their perceived look to other people. So this might be somebody who is really obsessed with their physique in the gym. It might be somebody who has to wear designer clothes all the time. It might be somebody who is, you know, consumed with their car and they do these things in an effort to be seen as superior to other people and that is really what that is rooted in. Another sign is that they don't ask you anything about yourself. And if they do, they don't really seem to listen. You might be speaking to this person and telling them a great story about yourself and they seem distracted. They don't really make a lot of eye contact with you. And it just kind of feels like when you're talking, it just doesn't seem that important to them. Or if the narcissist is particularly good in the beginning of the relationship of kind of putting on the showmanship, which a lot of them do, they might be pretending to listen to you so that eye contact might be there. But if you were to ask them about it later, it's like the conversation never happened and they don't remember anything that you've told them. They just don't seem to listen to what you're saying. Another sign, and this is definitely present in the beginning, but it might not be obvious, is that they tend to exaggerate 
their successes and their achievements. They might be somebody who name drops and just in general is just very braggadocious about everything that they have going on. Now, you might not know that they're bragging and that they're exaggerating because you don't know their lives, but if you start to feel like, wow, this person has done so much and is so incredible and starts to make you almost feel inferior because of everything incredible that they have going on and how brilliant and amazing and beautiful they are, that might be a sign that you're dealing with a narcissist. And eventually you're gonna start to see some cracks in their stories and some things that maybe just don't add up 100%. Another sign is that they seek admiration. So, and kind of in line with that exaggeration piece, the reason that they're doing that and talking about all the good things and bragging about everything in their life is because they want to be admired. They want you to validate them. They want you to be like, oh my gosh, you are so amazing. And here's the thing, in the beginning of a relationship, when the oxytocin is flying and there's maybe a lot of other good stuff happening, you're probably more than happy to do that because a lot of times narcissists are successful and they do have interesting stories so this is something definitely to look out for that can kind of be hard to tell but if you feel like they always want that praise and they need that and you can tell that if you're not praising them they're not as happy or they're not meeting you with that aspect at all that is definitely a sign of a narcissist another sign is that they are envious of other people so there's one thing for saying, you know, liking somebody else's success or being happy that somebody else is successful, but a narcissist doesn't necessarily feel that for other people. They kind of look at the world as like, if that person has that thing, then I can't have that thing. So I'm not going to be happy for them. I'm going to be envious of them. They also feel that people are envious of them. And to be honest, they're kind of haters, right? Like they will see somebody who is doing really well in life and because of their envy, because of how they actually feel about their own selves, they wanna talk down about that person. They wanna hate on that person. They just wanna say like, oh, you know, he didn't deserve it because of this, this, or this, or whatever. And in general, they just kind of have a negative connotation to other people that they deem are more successful than them. Or they might put somebody down that you start talking about that you think is really cool or has done some great things in this world and they're immediately meeting you with, oh uh, no, not really, this person isn't that great and blah, 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 might be dealing with a narcissist. Another sign, and oh, I cannot tell you how much this happened to me in my relationship with the narcissist, is that they exploit people. They exploit people, they take credit for things that you have done and take the credit for themselves. This happens in work, this can happen in a relationship with you, this can happen in different levels. In the beginning, and you're just kind of dating them, you really need to be on the lookout for how they're talking about their successes in life and where that came from, right? But as you get further into relationship with a narcissist, I mean, they will come up with things about how maybe you're really successful in life and how the reason for your success is them and they take credit for everything good that you've done in your life. I mean, this could be things that happened before you even met them, but they wanna go ahead and take credit for that. Absolutely narcissistic. And this is gonna be the last sign that we talk about today. Narcissists are incredibly arrogant. They are super self-important and they never take responsibility for anything that has happened, for anything that they do in their lives. They twist words around. They make situations up completely. They will do anything to place the blame onto other people. In short, narcissists are pretty much assholes. They're not really nice people. But I will say this, in the beginning of a relationship, there, these signs will be present, but not necessarily with you. A lot of people will experience the beginning of a narcissistic relationship as being super joyful, 
magic. They might take you places you've never been before. You know, you'll see things that you've never seen before, have experiences you've never had before. Maybe they throw a lot of gifts at you. They give you a lot of attention. And this is a kind of another sign is if somebody is just constantly bombarding you with text messages and just you feel kind of overwhelmed by them in the beginning of the relationship and they say, I love you really quickly. Um, maybe they want to move in together really quickly. A lot of these are signs of narcissism because they're really just trying to get you and keep you, right? That love bombing happens for a lot of relationships. This can be dangerous because love bombing in a narcissistic relationship is followed by devaluing of you. So in one sense, you feel like you have found this fairy tale and everything seems really, really great. And then that's when little digs might start to go in, right? Little passive aggressive digs, other signs of emotional abuse. I actually have a video where I walk you through the other signs of emotional abuse so you can go check that out. Narcissists are actually just very, very insecure people that hold a lot of shame about who they are. And they basically run their entire life trying to cover up the shame that they feel inside. Relationships with narcissists are completely one-sided. You don't really get your needs met in the relationship over time, coupled with the emotional abuse that goes along with it, they can be incredibly damaging. And you don't deserve that. You deserve love that sees you, that hears you, that understands you, that grows with you, that respects you. And if you are ready for that kind of love, I highly suggest that you look at my Worthy Woman workshop. This is the workshop where I take you through my subconscious processes for you to become the worthy woman in your life. Because when you become worthy first, then you get what a worthy woman has and a worthy woman has beautiful, respectful love. I will go ahead and link that below for you. As always, thank you so much for watching today. If you found this helpful and you know another person that needs to hear it, I said that you please share it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and go ahead and check out here for more.